So Pro Tools 12.6.1 announced has been released. And as you can see the title here, Core Audio Support Returns. If we scroll down, you see all the stuff that they fixed, all the bugs. Now, again, going back to this HD driver, something pretty important. A lot of people are talking about it. As you can see, updated Core Audio Driver for HD systems. So this is an issue with the OS X system and this new driver fixes the problem. Another thing that I'm noticing and it's happened to me and it's annoying, this MIDI delay compensation issue. Basically, MIDI notes are no longer recorded late by the delay compensation value. I make my beats almost all inside of Pro Tools. Reason I say almost, sometimes I may like to use an MPC or some external hardware, but if I need to use a special plugin that I can't run in Pro Tools, I'll use Rewire, I'll bring in another DAW and and I'm able to use the best of both worlds. That's just the way I work. Maybe one day I can talk about that. There's some other stuff here that might interest you. And of course, this is going to be in the description. So you need to check that out. As you can see, there's some automation and mixing uh, issues and there's some crash and errors. And just like it says, please continue to submit those crash logs. That's the only way they're going to fix these issues. Now, one problem that drove me crazy and it seems like it's not happening any longer. It's the click track issue and Pro Tools gives you an error stating that it's running out of CPU power, which is absolutely crazy. I removed that. I removed the click track and the message completely goes away. And I could open, you know, quite a few tracks and I still won't get close to that. I could pretty much come to the point of almost maxing out all my computer resources and I still won't get that error. But the minute I open the click track, the error comes. But it seems like that's no longer an issue. And if that's still happening to you, do me a favor, post in the bottom and let me know. Now, how do you download this? There's two ways. You can use the Avid uh, Application Manager and all you have to do is go to the Apps tab. Then right here, it's gonna tell you that there is an update available. When I download these files from avid.com, which is the second way you can do this, you can extract the file and I have no problems, but for some weird reason, it just took pretty long doing that. And it said that it was at 100%, so I don't get it. But this is a way you can do it and I know this program has its issues, but for the most part, it works like it's supposed to. So if this is the first time watching one of my videos, subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. And if you wanna know when I'm uploading a video, you see this bell here, click that. It's gonna open this little box here Click send me all notifications for this channel. Basically, whenever I upload a video, it'll notify you. Press save. Next thing, give me a thumbs up. And at the same time, check the description. Whatever subject we discuss, all that information is going to be here.